So we are formally challenging the fairness of the math proficiency test as a legislation. So we are bringing on a judicial review. The issue? The government only introduced the regulation last summer when about half of all teacher college students were halfway through their two-year programs, essentially changing the credentials midstream. The other issue? They claim the regulation was introduced with minimal consultation with teacher colleges or students, and studies show passing a standardized test doesn't necessarily make you a better teacher. What we are urging the government to do is to look at the literature, to look at the evidence from the scholarship about math proficiency testing for certification. And what they'll find is that the evidence shows there is no correlation between how well a teacher does on a math test and teacher quality. A ministry spokesperson issued City News a statement pointing to several U.S. studies that suggest standardized teacher testing can be weakly and even moderately predictive of classroom practice and student performance. Adding the math proficiency test will help ensure that new teachers are better prepared to teach the fundamentals of math so that our kids have every opportunity to succeed. Dr. Mary Reed teaches teachers how to teach math. I just wish this government would look at the scholarship and the research and put their money into methods and approaches that really make a difference. And Reed says that includes showing teachers how to teach math. Declining math scores are certainly a problem. In 2015, 63% of grade 3 students met provincial standards in math. Last year, that number dropped to 58%. And the decline is even more troubling with grade 6 students. In 2015, 50% of students met provincial standards. Last year, only 48. Math teacher education and math education and the quality of math education needs to improve. We're not denying that. That is absolutely the case in Ontario and beyond across our nation. And having an MPT, a math proficiency test for certification for teachers, is not the way to go. Now, a coalition of teachers' college students say they're taking this issue to Queen's Park on Friday and hope to file for a judicial review of the mandatory math test by the end of the month.